I will never be a coach. Uh, my name is Kenneth Josiah Omero. Um, initially, it was it was difficult, you know, because back then uh, parents didn't really give us uh, that, you know, time to play football because uh, they they felt it was a waste of time, you know. But we, we kept playing, and uh, at the end, it was it was it was good. But um, one of the difficulties, you know, we mostly face we Africans is, you know, going abroad to play. You know, it's, it's, it's difficult, but uh, I thank God for, for where I am today. Uh, now it's, now it's, it's great. Even my youngest brother said that uh, he doesn't want to go to school. He wants to play football and no one is saying anything to him, you know, because of the, the success uh, I brought to the family. Yeah, um, for me, I know the situation back, back in Chelsea, there are loads of us, loads of great talents, you know, being signed by the club and a lot of them are playing. We have this group chat where we see they score week in, week out, you know, a lot of them playing games, winning trophies. So for me, it's not, and for us, it's not just about playing for Chelsea, you know, for ourselves who want to play, want to go out there and make sure we're playing in a, in a league and playing week in, week out. Because otherwise, if, if I decide to stay back there and be on the bench, wait for injuries, I might not get enough playing time like, as I want. Yeah, definitely, you know. Um, but like I said uh, to, to, to Chelsea, uh, I've, it's, it's been long, you know, I've been going on loan, going on loan. Let's see what this season brings, you know, it's, uh, it's, I think it's, it, I need a home, you know, and they are aware of this as well. So um, hopefully get a good, have a good World Cup and uh, have more options for next season. It means a lot, you know, it's, it's amazing, it's every player's dream, you know. I've been there before, I saw how great it, it was and uh, um, it's, it's amazing. Um, yeah, I want to play every game, I want to start and finish, you know, but it's, uh, Nigeria is a country with lots of talents. You know, it's well, only opportune, I'm opportune to be here because even when I go back home and play with uh, my mates on the, on the street, I see how talented they are and it's not, it's, it, you have to be lucky, you have to have God on your side to be able to, to be selected, you know, and uh, you need favor to be able to play. At the end of the day, it's, it's, it's the country, you know, we're, we're working for the benefit of the country, not just myself. And uh, anyone that has been selected uh, by the coaches is, is fine. Um, my form is fine, you know, I have an, I had an amazing season, you know, for myself. I'm proud of uh, this season, especially, and um, yeah, partnering with Obabna was, it was good, you know, we, we won, we won a trophy, you know, and uh, I think uh, we can still win more trophies, you, you know, and uh, I don't, I'm not sure if I remember all the questions, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I will keep doing what I'm doing, which is, you know, working hard to, to be able to be fit, first of all, and prepare my mind whether I'm starting or not to be ready whenever I'm called upon, but the aim will be to start. Um, I think uh, for me, it was we had a good team, you know, we had a, 
a coach who played, I think uh, the pattern he, he played favored me a lot. You know, um, I, I adapted quickly to, to his pattern and uh, it helped me, it helped me to play week in and week out. I played a lot of games for Sunshine and uh, the one I won't forget is against Ayimba where I dislocated my shoulder. That was, that was bad because it really affected me in the future but you know I had an amazing experience playing in Sunshine. It toughened me up because uh, before playing for the Under-17 World Cup I never played any league so that was, that was good for me. Um, I think um, my mom had more belief than myself because uh, she always said we would wear the, the, the national team jersey and we would play for the country. But for us, we felt maybe, you know, she, she just wanted the best for us. But it worked out. You know, I, I played. My younger brother also was in the under 20 team a few years ago. So it was. It was amazing, you know, and uh, I never believed it. Even when Chelsea called, called that they, they are interested in me, I was, I didn't believe it. You know, I didn't take them serious. But at the end of the day, it worked out. Um, I don't really think, that, um, I think, okay, the last one is following, but three of us actually started playing together, you know, from school and everything. and. Uh, Luckily, I was the one who first, you know, um, made it out there, you know. So it's it's kind of football was what we what we, what we were doing aside school, you know. We gather, we play football, and yeah. I feel focused, you know. Uh, I feel focused, more responsible. You know, I have a uh, responsibility now more than, more than before, you know, and uh, for me, I'm, I'm really focused. Uh, I would say the game against Burkina Faso because it's, it was um, the first, my first trophy for the, for the national team and it was, also, it was also the first time I played for the Super Eagles. Um, I don't know, I really don't know, but probably go to school, become a banker or something. Um, when I was invited, because I was playing in Adel Den Haag and I was right back, um, when I saw the invite, I actually thought I was just going to fill in the space and when the final list is called, I'll be coming back home, you know. But for me, going in there, I was, I was just playing, giving everything. And luckily for me, the few games I played, I, I did good. And um, I went into the Nations Club not knowing if I would play any game at all. Uh, but um, when the, the, I think I started the second game and I started from centre back, so it was different from what I've been playing in the training and the coach just put me there and and it was my position, you know, so it was natural for me and I just I just played. Uh, it was it was good initially because when I signed I stayed back in Holland. Uh, so there were so many questions I couldn't answer because the young players, the other players, they wanted me to tell them about Chelsea, you know, about the facilities, about, um, you know, but I haven't been there. I signed in Holland and I stayed in Holland. So, and we had one player who was there and he was always like teasing me, like he hasn't even, he hasn't even been to Chelsea, stuff like that. So for me, I didn't have a lot of quest, um, answers to, uh, for their questions, but um, not until, I didn't even go to England until after the Nations Cup. 
नेशंस क्लब कॉन्फेडरेशन क्लब सो आई वाज आई वाज फॉर चेल्सी आई वाज सुपर्स टू कम बैक एंड स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट टीम यू नो दैट वाज व्हाई आई सेड व्हेन आई हैड द इंजरी इन अगेंस एम बाय अफेक्टेड मी लेटर ऑन तो एवरीथिंग वाज सेड आई वाज आई गोट माय वर्किंग परमिट आई गोट एवरीथिंग रेडी टू कम बैक एंड स्टार्ट बिफोर even before that was um so when i now got injured in the confederation cup again i took it to england um thinking then everything was ready for me to go to pre season with the team but then um in the night i was asleep the show that kept coming up so it wasn't something i could manage you know so i had to do the surgery so doing the surgery um they had to now recall zuma while I was I did the surgery and I was out for more than 4 months. So after the surgery I had to go on loan because it was the World Cup year. So I had to go to Middlesbrough to be able to play a lot of games, you know. So yeah, that was how the loan how I didn't stay in England then. I'm growing up I would say it's uh the ex captain Joseph Yobo. and um striker who has troubled me uh, no to say. i've played against a lot of strikers but uh no messi is not a striker <laughs> messi is a midfielder um i'll say it's between zeko and uh, benzema um positive i hope <laughs> because um everyone is hungry you know just few of us has been to the world cup before so everyone wants a feel of it you know the boys are hungry to win trophy to win something so i think it's it's positive <laughs> um okazi soup and eba <laughs> I will never be a coach. <laughs> no. I won't be a coach. Uh okay. I will have a Yamain go right back right back. Yeah, I will take Moses. <laughs> okay, um center back uh me and um David Lewis for for Zavi uh, left back left back uh, Marcelo <laughs> Marcelo uh 10 <laughs> Sandro Longo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely Ronaldinho. <laughs> When I need them, I won't remember their name. <laughs> Coutinho, yes. Uh Seven Seven Ronaldo. Nine Ibrahimovic. Ah, Nayon, you want you to. Um, Nema. Ah. White. FIFA. Ah, FIFA is more small matcher, this more real. Really? Yes. That's good. Better than me. No one then. <laughs> Jovia uh, Uche Abu Ah <laughs> Ape <laughs> Um I was at Wembley but I didn't play uh but I think the the stadiums in in the World Cup were big and amazing stadiums Definitely <laughs> Definitely Yeah, Nigeria. Nigeria. 
Yeah. You're welcome.